High blood pressure or hypertension is not something to be taken lightly. It's a serious disease and the cause of which is unknown. One fact healthcare professionals do know is that left untreated high blood pressure over time can lead to serious heart disease and other vascular troubles, even death. Blood pressure medications come in a wide range of formulas and dosages, each aimed at reducing the pressure going through the blood vessels, either as the heart pumps blood or relaxes. Some medications strengthen the blood vessels, while others thin the blood in an effort to reduce the strain. Trial and error is usually a doctor's only course of action when determining which combination of drugs and treatments will benefit a specific patient, as we're all different. There is, however, some good news about hypertension. There are some steps that you can take right now today to begin lowering your blood pressure almost immediately. Over time, the result is a sustained healthy blood pressure rating that supports your blood vessels and heart for years to come, which is great. Start with these five easy lifestyle changes and always consult your doctor before trying anything new with any healthcare regime. And never just go off any medication without the advice of your doctor. So here's a list below, five simple tips that you can actually do to help lower your blood pressure. And right at the end of this video, I am gonna give you one secret that I'm not putting into these tips and it will blow your mind and how it can reduce your blood pressure. Five steps you can take today to lower blood pressure naturally. Number one, drink water. Yes, water is a way to cleanse and refresh every part of the body, even your blood vessels. Drink eight to 10 glasses each day to flush out excess salt and toxins that make their way into the bloodstream. You can use water to replace some drinks containing caffeine that temporarily raise blood pressure. Two, stop smoking. If you're a long time smoker, you know how it affects your breathing. What you may not realize is the impact on your blood pressure. If you can't quit completely, then cut down. Even a 50% reduction in the number of cigarettes smoked each week can help. Number three, exercise. A cardiovascular workout strengthens the heart. This is important because high blood pressure over time puts added strain on the heart. 20 minutes three times per week of a sustained increase in heart rate will aid in lowering blood pressure. Number four, eat right. If you are eating better and exercising, a nice byproduct will be weight loss. By reducing your weight by 10%, you can significantly lower blood pressure. A diet that includes fresh fruits and vegetables will support healthy blood pressure, reduce or eliminate salt intake, and especially beware of hidden sodium found abundantly in pre-packaged convenience foods. Five, relax. Many people have a temporary rise in blood pressure, whether under stress. If you have high blood pressure because you're overweight or have a family of hypertension, then stress raises it that much more. Try taking a walk, doing Tai Chi, meditating, or listening to relaxing music to take the edge off a stressful day. Make time for decompressing each and every day. So there you have it, five similar little tips that you can actually implement right away to actually lower your blood pressure. It's very, very simple when you look at the tips in there anyway. Now there was one little secret little thing that I never told you in the video, and um, some people will either love this or they will absolutely hate it. Um, it's just down to your taste buds basically, and that one secret that has been medically proven to reduce blood pressure is garlic. Yep, garlic. Doesn't get any simpler than that, does it? Very natural as well, obviously, and you can get it anywhere. So it's not difficult at all. Now, if you don't like garlic, well, there you go. You'll have to start and like it, but it's one of these herbs that is pound for pound, probably the best herb on the planet. And um, you can add it to all sorts. You can make soups with it. You can put it in there, any kind of dish you want, to be honest with you. But try the tips and uh, leave a comment in the box below if uh, you have any more questions. Till next time, bye bye for now.